Well, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We are leaving, right? Well, we're not leaving. We are driving to our cabin trip. We've been driving for like four ish hours, but it's our first vacation as a family, an entire family, because we brought Mabel too. We're just super, super excited. We stopped and got Duncan this morning. Brooks has been really good in the car so far, so I'm praying that he just stays very good. Normally, he just like falls asleep in the car when we're in the car. She is so excited to be coming, even though she's like, looks like she's sleeping right now. She always gets so anxious before we go on trips, and then when she realizes that she's coming, then she gets so excited. All right, we made it to the cabin. It was a long drive. To think about it, it's probably a really long drive for a quick trip, but this view is worth it. This is the view off the little balcony. Maple's enjoying it so far. But this Airbnb is super cool. We'll give you guys a tour tomorrow when the lighting's a little bit better in there, but just nice cabin mountain vibes. Starting to chill down a little bit. It feels really good. I haven't had a hoodie on in months. This is a lot different than Florida weather. We're just gonna enjoy the last bit of daylight out here, and then we're gonna head inside and make some dinner. Maybe. <laughs> All right, we're back in now. Cass is feeding Brooksy. Well, he actually just fell asleep. Oh, he just fell asleep. Wait, where are you? Oh. <laughs> He's had a long day. I know. We've had a long day. We'll give you guys more of a tour of the place tomorrow when you can actually see, but just cozy cabin vibes. And I'm in here in the kitchen right now making up some dinner. It is pretty late. I guess it's not that late. 7.46, making some cornbread. And then we got a couple different soups. You know, just a nice cabin meal, soup and cornbread. And then we're watching some playoff baseball, but it's commercial. Daddy slayed dinner. We got soup and cornbread made by my chef. Okay. I just got done feeding Brooks and he fell asleep. So he is over there sleeping and now we can have our dinner, our first cozy little dinner in the cabin. Good morning. It is Wednesday. This is our first full day in Georgia. Well, it's weird. It's like technically like Georgia and North Carolina. You like to get to this place, you just keep going through the border. And then actually today we're spending most of the day in North Carolina. Technically we're in Georgia, but this is our first day. We are having uh, some muffins and some coffee and just enjoying the view. Maple's enjoying the view. She's actually smelling some firewood right now. She's crazy. She's enjoying the view. How'd you sleep? You sleep good? Yeah, pretty good. We woke up pretty early, me and Bubba, but it's okay. <laughs> I think he was well aware he was not in his normal bed last yeah. night, so he probably didn't sleep his best. Yeah. No, he still looks cute good. though. And your little drafts, little draft pajamas. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna enjoy our breakfast right now. And then I'm gonna go head out for a quick round of golf. Cass is gonna stay here, do some stuff around here, and then we're gonna grab lunch and go explore some waterfalls in North Carolina. Breakfast over, just doing some devotions before I leave. Cass picked this book up, this devotional on Instagram, and I thought it was gonna be like really silly because it's like, oh, it's an Amazon devotion. It's actually really solid so far, and there's been some things in there that have like, actually like taught me stuff, and I was like, not expecting that, so oh, it's been yeah, good. It's really cute. It's like it's, it's supposed to be like for new parents. Yeah, it's like kind of like going through what you're feeling with <laughs> you, like as far as you know, just common things of how new parents feel, and you're like, oh yeah, I do feel like that, and it's normal, it's okay. Mm -hmm. So and it gives like a verse, and then like just like talks about some things. We recommend it so far. <laughs> the kiddos just hanging out. Having a good old time. You guys look so cute. I was finally able to get ready for the day. We now have a Velcro baby. If you don't know what that means, it's where your baby like basically just wants to be with you 24 seven. So anytime I would put him down, he would scream. So I finally got ready for the day and got Brooks ready for the day. So I'm feeling very accomplished. Johnny is on his way back from golfing right now. And then we're all going to go get some lunch and take maple, obviously. But here's my little OOTD and I'm wearing like a jean jacket with it. Super cute jean jacket from Princess Polly. And here is Bubba's outfit for the day. It's from Aziel and Luca, I think is how you say it. This little like checkered set and then a bib, obviously, because he spits up on all of his outfits. We made it to lunch. We are at Blue Bike Cafe in Highlands, North Carolina, and our food hasn't came out yet, so we're just sitting here waiting, but it's a very nice 
pretty day out. How was golf? Golf was fun. It was great to see some fall colors, see some mountains, get a little feel back of home, back in Oregon, but it was a good time. I missed Cass and Brixie and Maple Leaf, so, and that's Maple Park. Maple. Sonia, stay right at. All right, we got chocolate chip, pancake, sausage, and breakfast burrito, lunch burrito, breakfast, breakfast burrito, and hash browns. Yummy. All right, food was, well, I will say, how was your food? Very good. Mine was, I go back. mine was solid. I will say the people here are so nice. I don't know if it's just been living in Florida for a while. Out here, everyone's been so nice. Everyone at the golf course was super nice. Everyone in Highlands has been super nice. It's just nice to be around nice people again. Like it's not that hard to be nice and people here are nice. We walked around the town for a little bit. We didn't, I wouldn't say we did shopping because we didn't buy anything, but we went and looked in some stores. Maple's crazy. So that's nothing new. And we're going to a couple waterfalls right now. The first one I don't think is much of a hike, and the second one is a little bit of a hike. So we're hitting up the first one that's called Dry Falls. Should be good. I've heard a lot about these waterfalls in North Carolina. One thing about me, I don't know if you guys know this, I love a good waterfall. Coming from Oregon, a lot of waterfalls. And hikes. You love I love hikes and I love waterfalls. So today is blessings. For Cass, not so much. Tomorrow will be my blessings. I told her to bring hiking shoes and this is not this is not the first time this has happened. The second time that I have told Cass before to bring hiking shoes and she brings brand new hokas. Two different pairs of hokas. This was already a discussion last summer when I said we were going hiking. She brought her newest pair of hokas, got them filthy dirty, filthy dirty. Last week I said we're going on lots of hikes. Bring hiking shoes. Not her older her hokas, not her second oldest hokas, not her third oldest hokas. No, brand new hokas for the hike. What do you have to say for yourself? I wasn't thinking, but I'd probably do it again, yeah. I mean, I've done it twice now. You wanna go see a waterfall? <laughs> All right, let's go see some waterfalls. Just like today pass. Like so a pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Bob. You can't really see us, but you can walk under the waterfall. So we're like under it right here. Alright, took about a mile, mile and a half walk, hike to another waterfall. Keep the maple stay commands. And it's working so far. Another pretty waterfall. Back at the cabin now, got the fire going. Just gonna enjoy the sunset with the beautiful leaves. Brooks is eating, so we'll keep it <laughs> right there. He's having dinner. But yeah, we're just gonna sit back. Is there, on my lap? there is a bear. A bear! <laughs> <laughs> And the other bear. But we were going to cook uh, like homemade pizza for dinner tonight. We thought that'd be fun. Unfortunately, could not find any pizza dough at any of like the like small, t we're really not around anything like big. Uh, there's no like major grocery store within like 25 minutes. So like the country stores we went to, there was no pizza dough. And even like, dude, it's crazy how expensive the store I just went to was. I have never seen anything like it. Gallon of milk, $6. No, $6.50, it was $6.50. Eggs. 657 bucks. Pint of ice cream, seven dollars. Two pizza crusts were 1250. 1250 for two. It was crazy. Ended up getting a frozen pizza and a salad. So not the most extravagant dinner. Not what we wanted to do, but it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta do what you gotta do. And in the meantime, we got this view. <laughs> not the best. It's another beautiful morning. Waking up. In the mountains, we were just getting another mm -hmm. cup of coffee, trying to figure out what exactly we want to get done today. I'm looking for a pumpkin patch. And Brooks is just slaying as usual. <laughs> getting some more coffee, and then hitting round two with the muffins. I'm gonna go out, enjoy, fire in the view. Just hanging with my kids. <laughs> We are just having a cozy morning out here, drinking our coffee. The view is like so stunning. Like, should I move here? Just kidding, I say that every trip somewhere we go. It's so pretty. Brooksy is loving the nature. He loves being out here, he's so calm. He loves being outside in general, but I think the mountain air is just very calming for everyone. 
So we wanted to give you guys a quick Airbnb tour. Obviously, we usually do this before we live in a place, but we got here kind of later in the day when we first got here, so you couldn't really see the cabin to all its natural glory. So obviously, there's gonna be some stuff everywhere, but this should give you just a general overlook about what this place looks like. Pull up here, you already see you are gonna have a real nice view. Just down some steps to the front door. Front door here. Maybe. What's up? You like this place? <laughs> All right, in front door, you are in the living room. And first thing you see is obviously the view that we have showed you. Super nice outdoor space. This is why we wanted to stay here in the first place. It's got a grill if you need it, a couple rocking chairs, a couch, fire pit, which we've been using. The best view, you can't ask for anything better. When we wanted to do like a little mountain trip, we were kind of like looking at different places to stay and excuse the baby crying, that's just the nature of our life right now. We wanted something that was like a cabin feel. We wanted to feel like we were in the forest, but Cass is also not like a camper camper. She's actually never camped her life. So we needed something that like felt like the forest. Like we actually are in the forest obviously, but was still nice enough that she felt comfortable in this fit perfectly. She likes it. Did it pass the test? Yes. Fireplace right there that they have firewood that you can use. TV, couches, dining room table, and then yes, I mean there's food and stuff, but kitchen, nice little view outside the kitchen window. They got coffee maker. They brought some stuff that you can use, hot chocolates, oatmeal, whatever. They have laundry for you if you want to use it in there, depending on how long you're staying, and then obviously freezer. Fridge, microwave, uh, everything you need in the kitchen. It's a fully stocked kitchen. They got pots, pans, utensils. Uh, we've cooked two meals in here so far, but the super high ceilings in here is so dope. And then off the main door is our main bedroom. Nice big bed. Back up there is our car. Got a TV in here as well. And then the bathroom. shower, all the towels, and everything that you need. So this is obviously the only room that we've been staying in because, well, it's only the three of us plus Maple, but there are a couple rooms up the stairs as well. You have a bigger party, nice little workspace right here. Another, actually, I didn't even sat in here yet. That's a nice, nice little sofa right there. It's amazing. I know, I actually, I, don't, I haven't been up here that much. What a view. Sick. If I was like a kid, I'd be pumped staying up here. Another room in here. There's the light. This looks like maybe a full bed. Maybe a double? I'm not sure. It's bigger than a twin for sure. Super cool posters up in here. Nice little cozy room. And then this is connected to a bathroom. This bathroom connects the two bedrooms upstairs. Another nice full bathroom shower. Through the shared bathroom is the third bedroom, two twin beds. Super cool in here. This is like at the top of the cabin. They got some cool decoration. If I was like a little kid, this would be like the sickest spot. Like this little room up here. Another closet and then back out here and at the top of the cabin. So that is our Airbnb cabin tour. I will link this in the description in case you guys want to check this place out. Highly recommend it. It is in a good location. So technically this is Sky Valley, Georgia, but to get here you go through like North Carolina, Georgia, like three different times to the curve. So you're close to, we went to Highlands, North Carolina, obviously yesterday, you can get to Cashiers. I think Asheville's like an hour and a half away. I think today we're gonna go check out Dillard Farms, which is kind of by like the, I think it's the Cherokee Reservation. We came to this little pumpkin patch and it's so cute. <laughs> Anybody want a dog? Anybody want a dog? Free dog here. Maple's not the best in public, but we're giving it a go. We got a pumpkin Dole Whip. There's like crushed graham cracker in it, whipped cream. It's so yummy.
we just left lunch we actually went to the exact same places yesterday because we came back to the same town and i was like looking up lunch places but not all of them were dog friendly and we have maple with us so we went to the same place i did get something different though so i'll insert a picture of my lunch here and then we went to a coffee shop like a local one and i got an iced hazelnut latte and it's really really yummy so now we're just heading back to the cabin and we're just gonna have a chill, cozy night all together. OG fans know that if we like eating someplace, we're just gonna eat there again. Anyone remember our honeymoon <laughs> vlog? We ate at like the same breakfast place like every day we every were day. in Yeah. You know, it's just It's just if we, we go are. somewhere and we like it, I'm just gonna keep going. Back. I'm not I'm not adventurous with my food, so we liked it and we were gonna be in the We area. do that even at home. Like we go to the same restaurants every well, week. Same restaurants, we eat the same food. We do the same thing every week. I know, <laughs> I know, exactly. We're just creatures of habit. We came to another waterfall. Bubba's in the dana sleeping. But this one is so gorgeous. Jojo found all the good waterfalls. I love waterfalls and I love golf courses and we've passed the nicest golf course here. here. I'm just having a great time overall. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna get a vacation home out here. I, that's, I'm gonna say it. I wanna, I wanna have a vacation home out here. I like it out here. It's so pretty out here. Where did we end last night? I don't even know where we ended. I don't either, actually. I, I don't, don't think we filmed dinner or anything. We don't know where we ended last night. <laughs> we were just taking our last night, trying to just enjoy family time. What did we have for dinner? We had grilled, grilled cheese and soup. Oh, we went to that waterfall. That's probably where we ended it. Yeah. We went to the waterfall. Beautiful, beautiful land out there. And then we came back, uh, made grilled cheese, watched Thursday night football, and just enjoyed mountain life for one last night. And sadly, it's already time to go home. It was a <laughs> fast... We, we really did just I get know. here. A three night trip when you're like driving up and you come in later in the day is a quick trip, but it was much needed, it was fun. I think we're gonna make a mountain trip in October, an annual Spinelli family tradition. So yes, I think that has to happen because just based off where we're from, like we're used to fall, like we grew up with falls and we need to just be in fall at least for a little bit during each year to just continue living a, a happy Florida life. I think that's that's ideal. That's it for this vlog. Again, we're gonna link uh, the Airbnb in the description. Lots of you are asking for the link, so we will go ahead and link it. Besides that, we got a long drive ahead of us, so we're about to head out. Thanks for watching. We will see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.